Okay, um, now we're going to go from uh, clean out three, cafeteria. So I named this one C3. And we'll run through this one and see what we have here. Okay, looks like it runs out about 41, 42 feet, and then drops and goes uh, vertical. Um, this one was pretty bad at the beginning, where it's back stuff up into it. But towards the middle part and the end of it, it didn't seem to be too terribly bad. It probably still needs to be flushed. Um, let me pause this. I'm going to run some water, see if I can get some water going through it while I'm coming back. Okay, I went ahead, I ran some water in these uh, two prep sinks. They're in like the islands of the kitchen in the prep area. Um, this pipe doesn't look too horribly bad on this section, but I'll pull back. Let me go put it, uh, take it to the vertical again, and then I'll pull back real slow and uh, we'll see what we have. Okay, well we drop down, we're, uh, we're at the bottom of the drop. It doesn't look too terribly bad. And I'm having a hard time pushing it, and then it goes out and does a 45, so I'm not even gonna try to attempt to push through that. But let me pull back here. Okay, we're back on the lateral here, and uh, let me shut this off. Back on the lateral here. I'm going to pull back real slow, see what it looks like. This isn't terrible. It's not as bad as the other one. Okay, we have something tying in. It's probably going to be uh, one of the condensation lines coming from the coolers.
And as I get closer to our floor clean out, you see more more de more debris, sorry. <coughs> All righty, so C3 um, isn't nearly as bad. C2 has a lot of buildup in it, and then once it turns into the Y, it gets even worse, um, where it Ys out into the hallway out there. But uh, C3, it's not so bad. It wouldn't hurt to flush it, uh, but at this point, I'd recommend flushing C2 and C3. And I'm not sure if I have another to camera or not, but uh, this concludes the camera for C3 at Ameren UE.